Chrysophyllum albidum is the binomial name. In the southeastern or south southern part of Nigeria, it is called Udara or Udala. Then in the southwestern part of Nigeria, it is called Agbalumo. And in the north, it is called Agbaluma. But the English people call it the African star fruit. Hi, beautiful people. It's your girl Lolita. Again, welcome. In this video, I'll be telling you all you need to know about the African star fruit. I have it here. All you need to know about the African star fruit. This is based on my research and my knowledge gathered from personal experience. Uh, I'm giving you all this information. Now, the African star fruit, which I preferably will be calling in this video, Agbalumo, is closely related to the African star apple. It is usually said to be in, in a different variety, but same species. And that is called the Chrysophyllum africanum. Now, there's also another one in the same family. That one is called the purple star apple. The purple star apple, yes, and it is, its botanical name is the Chrysophyllum kainito. So, we now know that there are different types of agbalumo. But uh, the purple star apple, that's the Chrysophyllum kainito, is usually found abroad. It's mostly found abroad. Um, it's not really found in the, this part of the country, in this part of the world west africa but recently research has shown that it was found in joss emo state and uh, towards portacot something like that please go and do more research on that now i'm going to be telling you how to know the sweet one yeah as well as telling you the health benefits and all that has to do with this significant fruit basically now have you ever had a bowl of Agbalumo and wondered which one will be the sweet one or have you ever been to the local vendors where they sell Agbalumo you go there you want to buy and probably you don't want to buy a very large quantity you just want something something small but you still want the sweet ones you don't want to buy and at the end of the day everything is all sour and you're not going to enjoy it now in that process you're going to be very picky because sometimes you touch, you drop, you touch, you drop, you touch, you you can touch like 10 and at the end of the day, you just pick like 2. Well, let me give you hints on how to pick sweet agbalumo. <laughs> the time of the year you're purchasing agbalumo matters a whole lot. You can't just enter the market and see someone say agbalumo and you just go and pick. The time of the year matters. Now, uh, its peak is usually between late December and February. Late December and February. And... Uh, if you go buying it late November or November uh, to early December, you definitely get the sour ones. You won't get the sweet ones. Because from late December to February, it's very rampant during this period. But it's still on till like April. You still find it in the market till April. But once it's from March to April, it's usually very scarce. Now, that moment or that period rather that it is scarce, that is when you find the very sweet ones. Those ones that are teeth shocking. Those ones that shock your, your whole mouth. <laughs> that's when you get the very sweet ones. When it's usually scarce and that's between March and April. Now, you need to take note that if you're buying towards the end of December and early, early um, towards the end of November and early December, pardon, the tendency of getting the sour one is very high. And this is because it hasn't dropped from the tree at that time. Now, at that time, it may have been showing signs of ripening on the tree. Then, these people usually just force it down, pluck them, and they don't drop naturally. They don't drop by themselves. So, they're not usually sweet to the core. That's why it's not advisable to get it during that time. Now, a lot more is not usually supposed to be picked. It's supposed to be dropped. There is it's not <laughs> what am I saying? It's not supposed to be plucked rather. It's supposed to drop from the tree. Now the tree the abalumo tree is very large. It's very, very, very large. Like I got to see a few when I traveled to the east. It's very, very large. And so it is mostly found in the southwestern, southeastern, and south southern part of Nigeria. And also, if you pick one abalumo, 
once it's hard is a no-no i have when i went to buy these ones for this video i made sure to pick different ones now this one as you can see i don't know if you can see it well with camera focus i don't know if you can see it well it's very hard it's very very hard now you know it is hard i'm pressing it and it's not there's no dent on it so you can see it's hard now the ones that had a no no because it's obviously not ripe it's obviously not ripe though it will be you know orangish in color or yellowish in color and all that they are first ripe most of them either boiled or they use chemical preservatives on them or something or they even tied in black sacks so that they can just you know just change color and boil the inside is you know, no. and then the soft ones the soft ones once you get the soft ones oh my god it's sugar these soft ones as you can see this is soft as i'm pressing it is going inside yeah these are the soft ones now these soft ones they dropped they, they were not plucked now another way to know is that they don't come out with stems now when you find when you see this one see this one has its stem yeah i hope you can see this one has its stem that means it was it was plucked from the tree you can see it was plucked it didn't drop so it didn't ripen naturally it wasn't due for harvest it was forcefully harvested oh sorry about that it was forcefully harvested so now another way to know is by uh, i don't have anyone that has this but Usually, if you, if you want to know one that's not sweet or one that didn't ripen naturally, you will find a green circle, like a green mark around here. Yeah. Yeah, you find a green circle around here. That shows that it was tied in a sack and kept to, thump, to change color or it was boiled, something like that. So those are um, hints for you to pick sweets and ripe agbalimo when you go to the market to buy them now for those of us that for people that will buy the very soft ones and the ones that you know how already only have this already have an opening at the top i i put this one myself but it, it had a very slight opening now you've hit a jackpot because it will be so sweet that your teeth will be dancing in your mouth so you have to but you have to be very careful because the ones that come like this, the ones that come like this usually have worms in them. Now, abalumo is very sweet, so you usually find worms in them. So you need to be very careful when you buy any of them, please. Once you open, check well so that you don't take rubbish into your system and wash well. Now, it's usually very sticky, very gummy and all that. You can see from the body, you can see the... Because I tried, I washed and washed and washed this one. See, they will just need a whole lot of patience, perseverance to remove all these things. With your, you have to scrape it off or something. Washing can just remove all these things from the agbalumo. Now, let's go to the health benefits. I've said a lot about agbalumo, the sweetness and all that. Let's get to the health benefits. Now, this part tends to marvel me a lot. Agbalumo is very delicious. It's low in calories for those who are trying to be on the fit farm list. It's very good for you. Now, it's also highly packed with vitamin C. And research has shown that it even has a higher content of vitamin C than oranges that are more glorified. Yeah. Oranges are more glorified. Vitamin C, orange, vitamin C, orange. Yet, research has shown that Abalumor has more content, a higher content of vitamin C. Then another one, another health benefit, it is a great antioxidant which helps your skin tone, it helps your skin tone, it also helps pregnant women avoid vomiting. The sour sweet taste of abalumo helps pregnant women calm, um, helps them calm down the irrit irrit their level of irritability, it also reduces cravings and nausea and all that. But again, if you're pregnant, disclaimer, please consult with your doctor before taking this food just to be on the safe side. Research has also shown that ladies tend to benefit a whole lot from 
it because it helps ease menstrual cramps a whole lot yeah then it also helps solve gum problems toothaches basically general gum and dentition issues it goes a whole long it goes a long way solving that i want more usually has five seeds in them let me open this so you see sorry that's going to be messy now usually most of the time agbalumo has five seeds in them i don't know if you can see this properly yeah five seeds in them uh but though i've had some with less than five seeds and i've had some with more than five seeds but it's usually supposed usually that's why it's called the african star fruit five star so usually has this five <laughs> shape well that's it and then the seeds also have their medicinal values you can research on that for your personal use and for your personal knowledge now when it's being chewed consistently for a long period of time it can be made into gum bubble gum now note that the sweetness of agbalumo has nothing to do with the size i've heard people say if you want to buy agbalumo you go for the big ones the small ones are usually are not sweet which one is bigger i think they're about the same size but okay i have a bigger one here yeah perfect now the sweetness of agbalumo like i said it's not based on the size the, there's no saying that the bigger one is sweeter than the smaller one the smaller one is sweeter, than the, is, is sweeter than the bigger one i've given you the hints on how to pick sweet and juicy agbalumo so it has nothing to do with size so that's it for me today thank you for watching if i'm sure you enjoyed this video please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel for more 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 content coming in uh tap on the notification bell and smash the like button now drop in the comment section below let me know what you call agbalumo in your tribe or in your state or where you're from let me know where you what you call agbalumo what you call the african star fruit what you call Agbalumo. Let me know what you call Agbalumo. And let me also know your own personal experiences in purchasing Agbalumo or in having it. Let me know what has been your personal experience. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.